What's up, YouTube? Uh, Skull521 is back. It's been... I don't even know how many weeks. Uh, does it really matter? Today I was uh, at the place I used to get dip, and the uh, I walk in and I see some new dip soap. So, I see a dip that I never tried, but I tried the long cut version, not the fine cut. Uh, I might as well just show you guys instead of just like delaying the inevitable. Skull original wintergreen long fine cut fine cut. The date on it is December eleventh, two thousand eleven, which is yesterday. So I bought it today, so I really don't care because I live uh, up north in New York, and sometimes it dips sits on the shelf for a pretty long time. Like last week, I bought a can of uh, I believe it was Skull Extra. Wintergreen, and it was six months past its sell by date, and I didn't realize till I left one open and opened the can. It was really dry and nasty. Uh, dip prices, I bought, I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, I should have got a receipt, but Skull Original Fine Cut Wintergreen at the place I bought it from, because I live in New York and tobacco taxes are ridiculous. Uh, it was seventy nine seven ninety nine without taxes. That's eight bucks without taxes. It was like eight twenty three with taxes, and it's kind of weird because the cheapest one that I got like last week, I'm still dipping it, but it's not gonna be this video. This video is gonna be skull. Uh, I got Longhorn Wintergreen. It was four twenty nine before tax, so that's the kind of expensive for Longhorn, I guess, because cigarettes are like ten to thirteen dollars a pack now here. It's getting kind of ridiculous. Um, did some skull fine cut today, so I put skull mm -hmm. green and Kobe egg and snuff because it's like a fusion of both. Because I was told about this, but I never really dipped it before. It's not cracked yet. Gonna get on it. Gonna dip that shit. Crack that shit first. I might as well like give a couple shout outs when I'm doing this. Uh, I was watching. Uh, Cajun Tiger 616 is a new video, I think yesterday. And he was talking about uh, T Casper 96. He's kind of new to the YouTube dipping community. He only has like one video up. He's kind of new like me. I only have, I think, a dozen videos. I'm trying to look at them now inside the screen. Um, I just realized today that I could edit videos, but. I'm probably gonna edit it, but I'm probably gonna mess it up. So I don't know if I'm just gonna post this video up or the edited one. It it doesn't. I don't know. This might be the edited one. I don't know. 100% grown tobacco. I'm like Longhorn, which is 50%. Where did they get the other 50% from? It's probably like India or uh, yeah. Well, I guess they get camel tobacco from India. I guess. Damn, this is fine. This be fine. It's kind of weird. The first smell I got from it was like Copenhagen snuff. It's really fine. See all those little greenlets. Grainy, grainy, grainy. Still do not have a mud jug. I'll get one eventually, but not right now. So I gotta poke up well. Smells pretty good. I was told that, uh, that's annoying, um, that this is hard to get a pinch because in Skull, in, uh, I mean, Copenhagen, uh, that was pretty bad. Uh, in Copenhagen Snuff, the, uh, the wax on the side of the can because it's made out of cardboard, um, it makes it more packable. You could take a huge pinch if you want, but this is probably going to be pretty tough because it's all plastic. I'm going to go get a pinch, stop talking about it, and actually do it. Ah, oh, I dropped it all over the place. See, that's horrible pinching. Horrible. Put it right up front. 
I'm going to put it right up front because, as you know, if you put fine cut or snuff anywhere else but the front, it's going to get all over your mouth and you're going to get some sick drip going on. It's pretty good. It's what I thought it was going to taste like. Like, uh, you know, outside, skull wintergreen. Kind of tastes like Copenhagen stuff, but not really. It tastes more like wintergreen. I think Outlaw did a video on this a couple weeks ago. I'm just going to put a couple more pinches, maybe two or three. Seven minutes. That's ridiculous. Okay. Wow. I can have all of them great. It's been a long time since I dipped any kind of fine cup. Maybe about a month. I think you gotta put it in really, really tight with your tongue. It's gonna get falling out of your mouth. Look at that. It's like worm dirt. So, I like to make more videos. I was going to make one last week of uh, Squirrel Crisp, one, one cup. I shouldn't even say Squirrel Crisp, I should say Squirrel Apple because that's what it used to be. Uh, I got some kids recently to dip. As far as I know, a couple months ago, I was like me and one other kid dip, and that was it. But now it's like me and like four other kids. It's really hard to keep in your mouth, this stuff. I guess I should dip Flanka more often. Uh, this has been a long, boring video. Thanks for uh, sticking in there. Uh, I give this dip maybe eight out of ten. If it was long cut, I'd probably give it a nine out of ten, maybe even a ten out of ten. Don't really feel the buzz at all yet. A little bit, not really. Uh, then next video, guys. Everybody gotta keep on dipping because dipping's better than regular bogeys. Peace out from Skull 521.